하지도 못하면서 잡히기나 하고 레이저 <웃음> This is KR Brickbot, and I'll be reviewing Hello Carbot, The Secret of Omphalos Island Client. It was first released in January of 2019, and its retail price is about 48,000 Korean won. So, a quick look at the box. So, for whatever reason, the boxes opt to use different background colors for each of the products here. And comparing it is with A Shark's box. You can see this one is a little wider, but it's a little thinner as well. You know, pretty much the same, pretty much the same style with the same blue background and the illustration and logo here with the chip highlights. Another illustration here, and then the character lineup. Okay, so let's jump straight to the figure. So, Klyon is a decent lion transformer. Some details include these leg details and these white painted bits that kind of look like bones. And his big shoulder kibble. With some red, little blue details and a painted silver carbot symbol on this side. And some more shoulder details while the rest are his organic lion bits. And his head sculpt is also pretty standard, I think pretty unique at least. It's this big red crest and I think his angular faceplate kinda gives him a somewhat feline appearance, vaguely I think. So the back of the figure is pretty sparse, except for the tail here. So. But at least all the screw holes are on the back, whereas most other animal car bots usually have like screw holes on the front as seen with t here because since the organic bits go on the outside, the screw holes all have to go on the inside. So his main weapon is a, this is called a Mega Twin Cannon, which Honestly, it kind of looks like more like elongated tassels. So you just put that in his hand, which, by the way, this is bigger than 5 millimeters, so it's a bit of a shame that the cross compatibility is being lost. But. Yeah, so you can hold it like that. Or he could split it apart. To use as like a melee weapon. Although I think for, to be most effective, you have to inconveniently pull it out and plug it in this way. So as for articulation, he has a full 360 head swivel and three 460 arm swivels and rotation at the biceps with some clicks here but no wrist articulation so you just stuck with this kind of pose for this some ratcheted okay these are not these are not actually ratcheted either that or very soft ratchets yes there we go and then the standard 360 thigh swivel and some some knee swivels with the joint, the knee joint at the back here instead of here as it usually goes. And some outward and inward foot swivel due to transformation. And also a ball socketed tail. So one major issue I have with client's robot mode is that his big chest kibble, it just kind of gets in the way. By that, I mean, as you can see, it kind of sticks all the way up here, so... If he looks this way, he has that much kibble completely blocking his view, so... You have to look like... Look 
all the way here if you want to see anything other than straightforward. So yeah, I wish this could have been relocated here or at least maybe be able to slide down a bit. But as it is, it kind of just kind of looks a little too big. And plus, from low angle shots, you can't completely see his face at all. Yeah, you could do this, but then it looks quite awkward. And for size comparisons, here's Hello Carbot Ace. Generations Armada Megatron. Masterpiece Optimus Primal. Beast War 2nd Lyo Convoy. And his son, Lyo Jr. Yes, so like all the other Carbots, he's between Voyager and Leader class sized. So let's transform into Lion Mode. First, you flip into Pulse. And then you detach a tail. Then you fold these in. First, you have to fold these lion back bits out. And then make sure the lion head is kind of in here for easier connecting. And then, then you can just connect these halves. And then come to the legs. And kind of turn them on two hinges like this. And the first you have to fold out this bit of kibble. And then fold out the feet. Okay, do the same for the other leg. Now to connect them together. Yeah, I think there's like this little tab here for these side bits. Then make sure all of those tabs click in here. Then finally click in the head. So there you have Client in his lion mood. Oh, and then you put the Mega Twin Can in here like this, putting in the hole and tab here. So here's Client in his lion mode, and um, there are several issues with this. First off, his side view. Look at his body. It's awfully short. And number two, I think his front paws are a little too big compared to the rest of the lion. And number three, his face. Look at his face. From the side, it looks like it's too sloped down or a little too short so it kind of looks like his face just has been squashed in and then his eyes those big dead red eyes yeah i guess they're kind of like the, how the first transformer beast wars toys were like but still it's quite inaccurate and quite red and dead or robotic and his nose is just simple paint it's just a simple painted black splotch and no really no defining facial features here and his mouth his upper mouth doesn't have any teeth and his lower mouth has these tiny little unmolded teeth so client kind of looks like just like an old toothless lion and his mouth it kind of looks like it would hinge but for some reason it would just snap back like that so instead of this majestic lion as shown here, all you get is a lion with dull surprise. I'm going to jump straight to size comparisons. Here's Lyo Convoy and I think Lyo Convoy is just in general a much more better looking lion. For one thing, his body proportions look right. He even has some rib cage muscle tone. Something that client has here, but not on the toy. And looking at his face, I think it's Lyo Convoy also has a much better face. 
especially with some nice details like these actual painted eyes and these actual bearing teeth instead of client who kind of looks like he lost his face, false teeth or something. Sure, at first glance, you, get, you can't exactly tell if Klein is a robot, whereas on Lyo Convoy, you can tell, but still, that doesn't excuse Klein from being a little squashed little lion with the surprise. Klein has some limited leg articulation, so basically his the same as his arm articulation here, with a front paw band, although it reveals his robot fist. And his back legs, it, you can kind of do this, or this, and of course his ball socketed tail. And to compare with some other toys, here's Hello Carbot Ace, Generations Armada Metatron, Lyo Convoy again, and Lyo Jr. Yes, Lyo Jr. kind of has a similar color palette as Klein, but still, I think Klein's face looks much like a more menacing face or, than this face. And now to play Klein's chips on the watch. Yes, this one simply reads Lion. So, of the four new Animal Carbots, I would say that Klein is my least favorite because of his big kibble and, mo and more egregiously, his ill-proportioned and most show-inaccurate beast mode. And what kind of lion has its mane blended with its face fur color anyway? I guess it's an okay lion transformer toy for kids in Korea, but if you want a really good organic looking lion transformer, go get a lion convoy. So that's it for my review and thanks for watching. Please consider leaving a comment, liking, or subscribing and until my next review, the lion sleeps tonight.